Well, um, just could you kind of take us through what the last few weeks of practice have been like for you? Coach Woodson said he's been really pushing you a lot, and uh, I guess tonight to, to you know, knock down a couple or a three, scoring inside a little bit. How do you feel like your game is at this point? Uh, I feel like my game has just been evolving. The more I get in shape, you know, like Coach Woodson said, uh, the past previous practice he's been pushing me, you know, around harder than all the coaches have. So the more I get in condition, I feel like we are going to be a better team. Gabe, uh, you played a lot of minutes tonight, 22 minutes, getting uh, integrated into the college game, and uh, the speed. How has it been making that adjustment uh, with, and with the size, playing with guys like Kel Uh Yeah, I think, um, you know, playing extended minutes tonight kind of showed me that, you know, you can still get tired with those long um, media timeouts. Um, <clears throat> but... Playing with guys like Khalil, it makes the game a lot easier. Uh, just to be able to read ball screens and be able to come off, like you can just throw it up if, if somebody's not there or if they're trailing it or if they can't see the ball. So, um, you know, it definitely adds a whole other element to the game that, that makes it more fun. Right here, then, Zach. Well, there was a moment in the second half where uh, you were fouled, your head kind of went down, and your teammates immediately came over to you and offered you their support. What does it mean to have their support just? Uh, that means a lot because, you know, if you do make a mistake, you know, just leave it in the past. You just move on to the, to the next play and the next play and just keep going to the win again. Zach, can I try? Gabe, this is, I guess, kind of an obvious question. But as somebody who's always kind of got the whole offense in mind, what does a guy like Colel open up for you when he can step from behind three-point line, he's, he's good moving in space, and obviously the way he can finish around the rim? Yeah, he just – um, I would say he just creates a lot more space um, vertically and just throughout the court, especially being able to step out and shoot like he can. Um, you know, bigs can't get detached from him. And then, you know, if they go out and close out on him, he's athletic and he moves um, well enough to be able to put it on the floor to back cut and get lobs and, you know, be a threat vertically too. Travis and Mason. Hey, Gabe. Um, you've been the catalyst for the, some really good defensive spurts with the second group. What have you guys been like in practice, and what do you think that second group will be like in the regular season? Yeah, I mean, I think I think we try to, you know, take it to the, the red team every day. Um, we try to challenge them. So, um, you know, everybody just competes on our team, and I think when everybody's going at each other and they have the thought in mind that they're just making each other better, that's when you get a really successful team. So, um, you know, I think I've done a good job in practice of just coming consistently and – you know, pressuring the ball all the time. And then when I get out here, you know, guys usually aren't as fast or as strong as X that I'm guarding every day in practice. So, um, you know, I feel confident that if I can get up and, you know, pressure X every day, then I can come out here and pressure guys up the floor the whole time. Mason and Tom. For either of you kind of going off that theme of defense, there was a moment with about a minute left in the first half where Woodson called timeout and you guys kind of huddled and then really kind of just, it seemed like clicked, especially from that point on going on into the second half. What was said in that timeout and kind of uh, how did you guys close out on the in, on the perimeter in the second half? Um, well, we knew that, the, that they were a team that could shoot the ball. And so we just had to make sure that we get to the three-point line. If they drive in, then of course, we have big down there that could block me, Liko, um, and just even, you know, and Walk, he had a couple blocks tonight. So all we had to do was just take away three points. Todd and Mike. Uh, well, uh, a lot of your production has been in the second half uh, after slow starts. What do you think gets you going and then what keeps you going? Um, I would say in the first half, I'm sort of just, you know, just moving at a fast pace when all I got to do is just slow down. And then once I slow down, everything will just come to me and everything will just open up for the team. Mike? Club, um, uh, Coach Winston said he's been kind of going after you uh, to be more aggressive and on the offense side to kind of help your game. Uh, particularly at the basket, is it drill work? Is it sort of mental kind of stuff that like trying to be aggressive with you? What, how does he try to coax that out of you? And what has he done to sort of help you develop your offensive game? Um, I would really say it's just it's mental. You know, like I said in the first half, I'd be you know everything be like sped up. When all I gotta do is just slow down, and everything would just come to you. The floor will open up. You'd be able to see everything instead of just rushing into a move off rip. So. Last question, Zion. Gabe, you've been orchestrating the, the break a lot in these last couple of games. Just what does it do for your team you guys just get out and run? Yeah, Coach Woodson um, has made it a point to us that we 
we want to try to thrive and transition and get a lot of fast break points. So um, anytime I get the ball and you know see open floor, I want to push it and try to get guys easy shots. I think um, that's deflating for a defense to give stuff up in transition. And um, with our ball pressure and you know our anticipation on defense, we can get out and run a lot. And that's good for us. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Sure.